Listen, before we start putting stuff on tape, I, I need to ask you something. I need to know that anything that I say five minutes later not to put in, that you're not going to put in. Absolutely. I met James Ponsold when he was Jamie Ponsold. Is it okay <laughs> if I say that publicly? Yeah, it's okay, yeah. James was in my playwriting class at Yale as an undergraduate. A memorable student, obviously, because we have maintained a relationship over these, what, 16 years? When I had you, it was you had, I think, just won the Pulitzer, which was very intimidating. It was right between Smashed and The Spectacular Now launching that I finished the screenplay of the end of the tour for Anonymous Content. I said, you know, there's this young director. He's up and coming. His career is about to explode. I know him. I think he'd really respond to this. Can I send it to him? And they said, sure. I woke up the next morning to an email from you. You read it overnight. Yeah. <laughs> it was an exhilarating email because you were so clearly excited. I got to ask, what is with the bandana? I know that it's a security blanket for me whenever I feel nervous or like I got to keep myself together. Mm the recognition of a weakness that I'm kind of afraid my head is going to explode. <laughs> I think you said something to the extent of, James, I, I don't know if you're a fan of David Foster Wallace or if you know about this book by David Lipsky, but, you know, I've adapted it and I think it's coming your way. And my sort of heart sank in this excited, terrified way because I'm a massive David Foster Wallace fan. I had read Infinite Jets my freshman year in college and it really, I think, changed my life to some degree. And it really just hit me in the heart. And I felt that if, if someone else did this, Badly, I would never forgive myself if someone else did this well. I would be insanely jealous. I think if the book is about anything, yeah. it's about the question of why. Right. Why am I doing it? And what's so American about what I'm doing? I was overcome with emotion at seeing that film because it was so respectful of my work in ways that I had not really uh, experienced as a screenwriter. I had this uncanny experience of seeing on the screen what I wrote, which is not the same thing as hearing my words on the screen. It looked like the movie that I wrote. And I can attribute that to our affinity that I think is historical now. And I think it also came out of an inherent trust that you had in the material. I feel like you were just a very generous and wonderful collaborator through it. I don't know, it felt like something came full circle in a way. When I think of this trip, I see David and me in the front seat of his car. He wants something better than he has. I want precisely what he has already. I think involving you, with whom I had this tender history, all of these aspects of my creative and personal life were coming together in this project. This has been a great pleasure for me to come full circle with my teaching and my professional life and that you are a part of it, that you shepherded it. Is, is very meaningful. This has been the most meaningful sort of directing experience I've had. I hope I, hope I get to have many experiences like this, but I doubt that I will. So I, thank I you. think you're right. <laughs>